What's up guys, it's Saturday, March 30th, 2024. That is the Bitcoin block height. That is the Bitcoin price today. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how many Satoshis you can get for $1. My goodness, guys, Saturday again. This is Satoshi Saturday number eight, episode number eight. It's gonna be a little different today because it is absolutely pouring down where I'm at today and it's cold, no sun, no nothing. I feel like I'm somewhere on the East Coast. And I also have my uh, nephew in town, so I'm a little thrown off today, uh, but the show must go on. So as you can see from the title, 10 reasons why I won't sell my Satoshis. So let me give you a few caveats. First of all, when I say I'm not gonna sell my Satoshis, what I mean by that is I won't sell them for fiat. Uh, that's number one. I will not sell my uh, Satoshis for f an inferior currency. And I'm also talking about over the next 10 to 11 years, because right now, like I said, I think it was last week's video, the week before that, uh, we are in the gold rush of Bitcoin. It started in January, 2024, and it's gonna go all the way until the end of 2034 uh, when we mine all of the Bitcoin, but 1% of it, and the last 1% will be left to mine over the next 100 and something years. Also, I believe this is long-term savings, uh, 10 plus years outside of your bills, but I also am an uh, advocate of having cash short-term, even though uh, cash is burning at both ends. Uh, you do need cash short term because we still leave it, live in a fiat currency. We still live in a fiat standard right now, but I think uh, over the next couple of decades, we may uh, be switching to that. But yeah, so with those caveats out of the way, let's get into the 10 reasons why I will never sell my Satoshis for fiat. All right, these are in no particular order, but the first one is taxes. So if you sell your Satoshis or your Bitcoin at a profit, so if you bought it at 20,000 or 27,000, like I did, I bought it 20 and 27, I bought it 15, 16,000. And if I turn around and try to sell today at 69 or 70,000, I'm gonna pay a uh, capital gains tax. And, I, and I'm not trying to do that. So that's one of the reasons, a small reason, uh, why I will not be selling my Satoshis for fiat because I'm definitely not gonna get hit with that tax bill. The next reason why I won't is because I can borrow against my Bitcoin if I need to. Uh, it's not There's not a lot of options right now to do that, but in the future, in the next three to seven to 10, 12 years, you'll definitely be able to borrow against your Bitcoin. And what do I mean by that? Uh, let's just say I need $100,000 cash, right? And Bitcoin is at 250,000. I believe in a few years, I'll be able to let them hold one Bitcoin you know, it'd be worth 250,000. I think they'll let you borrow 125,000 and they'll use your Bitcoin as collateral and you, then you'll, they'll give you back 125,000 in fiat. That way you don't have to sell your Bitcoin. You can keep it and take advantage of still the fiat world if we're still in one and I can borrow against it. You won't need to, you know, use your credit or anything like that because again, Bitcoin is the most pristine asset in the world and all they want is your Bitcoin. Uh, then you pay it off at a you know interest rate or whatever, and then you'll get your Bitcoin back. Another reason I won't sell my Satoshis, I won't need to, because I can borrow against it. Another reason why is the central bank digital currency. We've talked about this a lot. Uh, I do believe we are going away from cash. We're going to a cashless society. And I do believe the fiat uh, dollar will die. I don't know when, I don't know when it's gonna do that. Uh, but before it does, I believe the central bank digital currency uh, will be introduced here in America, just like it is uh, being introduced now around the world. And the only thing that's gonna fight against that is is my uh, Satoshis. We're gonna be transacting in uh, digital money and I refuse to participate with the central bank digital currencies. I just, I just do. And if we're in a cashless society and you don't have your Bitcoin, and let's just say you just have gold or, and silver or whatever you got, um, you're gonna have to sell something or whatever you have in an asset for those central bank digital currencies because you need to buy things like bread and food and water and gas and things, you know, your rent, your mortgage or whatever. And I know by then uh, the central bank digital currencies, by the time they come out, Bitcoin will be a household name and people will be transacting in Satoshis. And that's my backup to that because I refuse to participate in central bank digital currency. So again, another reason I will never sell my Satoshis because I will not be controlled by these people and use the central bank digital currencies. I will use my Satoshis first before I become enslaved. Another reason is it's a long-term savings. And I, I, buy, I buy Satoshis every single day, every single day, because they're so like, they're so cheap right now. You see how many you can get for $1. 
and I only buy what I can afford to lose, right? Uh, outside of my bills. So I'm not going to uh, overspend anything. I was gonna take care of my bills, uh, but I always have to pay myself first and I only pay myself enough that I don't compromise my bills and my, and my lifestyle and stuff, because I have to live. So I only spend you know, enough to do that. Also too, uh, I, I buy every day because I know it's a 10 plus year plan. It's actually generational wealth, but uh, the first layer is 10 plus years. And I know that this is money I'm not gonna spend. So that's another reason I will not spend my Satoshis because I don't need to spend them, only buy what I can afford to lose. And I know that it's a 10 year plan for me and my family's future. Another reason is fiat is inferior. I mean, it just is, it's, it's inferior to Satoshis. I've, I've always told you that Satoshis are the most hardest money in the world and fiat currency is a, is a dying is a dying currency It's the only money that we've ever had that we haven't chose we didn't ch we didn't choose it and the people have chosen satoshi the people that have used it in the, in the future the more people that use it in the future have also chosen nobody forced me to use satoshis i was forced to use us dollars if i don't use them uh you know if i don't pay my taxes in them or or you know, pay my bills in them. I could, I could get in trouble. I could lose my house. I can go to jail. I can pay fines or whatever. So I'm literally forced to do that, uh, backed by the government, uh, you know, military force and things like that. But again, it's not a money I, I choose. And fiat is just a, an inferior asset. It just is. And I'll get into that in the next in the next reason. But again, to me, uh, Satoshi's is a much better money. Uh, it's private. Uh, I can do better, and I just think Satoshi's are much, much better, and all in an all-around uh, medium of exchange, much better than the inferior fiat currency. Piggybacking off the last one, another reason I will never sell my Satoshi's for fiat is because my purchasing power in Satoshi's is going to go up forever. The point is, if if you have the superior asset, it's going up forever, Laura. Forever, right? I'm <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I mean, it just is. I mean, as you can see, it may go up and down a little bit, but every four years, if you buy in 2016, by the time 2020 happens, your purchasing power will go up. I'm not talking about the US dollars price go up. Yes, that will go up. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about what it takes to buy a certain thing. Four years ago, it took you know a certain amount of uh, Bitcoin or Satoshis to buy a house. And four years later, it takes less Satoshi. It's gonna take everything trends to zero in Satoshis and Bitcoin. It just does. It just goes down and down and down. And that's how money's supposed to be. Money, real money is supposed to make everything cheaper, not more expensive like the theft we're, we're going through with fiat currency. So again, piggybacking off the last one, uh, the reason I would never sell my Satoshis for fiat currency is because my Satoshis will always increase in purchasing power. Another reason I will never sell my Satoshis is because I'm a Bitcoiner. And I'm here to strengthen the network, right? We have a uh, network of Bitcoiners that not only buy and hold Bitcoin on the base layer and in cold storage, but we also have run our own nodes and we're our own ecosystem. And I'll, I'll talk more about that on the next one, but I'm here to strengthen the network, guys. I just am. And I, I, I truly believe in it. And when you take US dollars and opt out and buy Satoshis, you're, you're voting with your wallet. And I'm opting out of that system right for my future i just am and i don't believe in the fiat currency system even though i know i have to use it right now like there's a grocery store right in front of me and i gotta go in there i gotta spend fiat currency i just have to do that because we're in that system right now but i'm here to strengthen that this system this network this protocol uh, until we get into the next phase i'll talk about it in, in the next one so again another reason i will never sell my satoshis i'm a bitcoiner and i'm here to strengthen the bitcoin network another reason i will never sell my satoshis for fiat in the future i plan on living on a bitcoin standard i believe i truly believe this in my heart after many many hours of studying hundreds of hours maybe a few thousand hours of studying i believe uh, the hardest money always wins and that's why gold won that's why seashells won that's why whatever money won in the end uh became uh one of the four steps because there's four steps to money collectible store value medium exchange and then the standard I believe we're in between two and three right now, and I believe in the next couple of decades, Bitcoin will be the world reserve asset, world, world reserve currency, and we will be on a Bitcoin standard. It's a global money, it's the money for the internet. <laughs> the way these, these countries are printing money, like it's going out of style, there's, we don't have a choice. You know? and, and when people find out about the central bank digital currencies, like I talked about before, 
um, people are going to opt out. And the central bank digital currencies, which I failed to mention before, it's going to be a billboard or big commercial for Bitcoin. They're like, wait a minute, I can use a digital money that is better than this because they're making me use a digital money. I can't use my, my fiat currency dollars. And you mean to tell me I have to be controlled and social credit scores and they don't, I can't have any savings and you know, they're going to zap away my money. They're going to control everything that I do. I can't get on a plane because the way I voted or I can't buy a steak because I didn't like what I said on Facebook. People are not going to do that. So this is the difference between Bitcoin and a central bank digital currency. Bitcoin is completely decentralized. There's no one founder or CEO which can program the money. With a central bank digital currency, it's basically a digital version of what we have now. There's nothing different to it. It's going to be entirely centralized in the control of the government and the central bank. So if for whatever reason you hold the incorrect opinion, they can just program the money and use it against you. So if you like the wrong thing on social media, the central bank digital currency will no longer work. With Bitcoin, nobody can touch it. It's entirely in your possession. You have a non-custodial wallet and that is where you'll hold your Bitcoin and nobody has access to that. We're opting out of that system and I believe in the next few decades we will be on a Bitcoin standard. So again, another reason I will never sell my Satoshis for fiat is because I know in the future we'll be on a Bitcoin standard. Another reason is I have to lead by example. I'm one of the advocates of Bitcoin. I'm a freedom lover and I am a uh, an American that loves his country and a patriot. And I love, I love my freedom. And I believe Bitcoin is freedom. If you don't like freedom, you don't like Bitcoin. <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's just it. And I have to lead by example. And what would I look like buying Bitcoin and then flipping it and trading it and selling it every couple of years when I'm out here telling you guys what to do and being an advocate, not only in my area, but on the internet with my family, with my friends. And when people look at me now, they look at me as the Bitcoin guy. So I have to lead by example. And I know for a fact that that is a terrible idea to sell your your satoshis for for fiat currency it just is so i have to uh walk the walk and if i'm going to talk it i gotta i gotta walk it so again another reason i will never sell my satoshis is because i have to lead by example the last reason i will never sell my satoshis for fiat is simple it's for my grandkids and my kids and my great grandkids and generations to come uh, this is going to be money that's going to be here forever. Forever. Right, I'm and like I said before, uh, I believe we're going to be on a Bitcoin standard. And I know the money printing that's going on in this world and the fiat currency collapse is going to happen. That may not happen in our lifetime, but we have to pay that bill. <laughs> you know, we've just printed another 1.2 trillion here in 2024. We did it in 2023, 2022, 2021. I mean, we're printing trillions like they're millions now. And somebody's going to have to pay that bill. And it's going to be our, our kids and our grandkids. And I refuse to, the, to leave them with that bill when I know what's going on. And that's why I'm, I will never sell my, I will never be selfish and sell my Satoshis for my own personal gain. If I really, really need something, like I said, I'll borrow against it, but I'm never going to sell. It's for them. I know for a fact that I will never enjoy these Satoshis as much as, as my family and my generations to come. And I'm willing to make that sacrifice. And that's what I'm here for. We are in a, an opportunity, guys. Like I said before, we're in a once in a species opportunity, guys, that uh, your kids and your grandkids will never, will never have the opportunity to do. It's up to you to do that. And so I am willing to sacrifice my time, my life, my effort, my energy. Uh, to do that for my future generation and my lineage because I know, again, that, that bill, that future fiat bill is coming and I refuse to, to leave that to them. And uh, I want to leave them with a really, really great future. And I want them to be one of the pioneers and knowing that their grandfather or their great grandfather was here for them uh, to leave them a great legacy. So again, I would never sell my Satoshis for fiat because I'm going to leave it and make sure my generations to come are okay. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my 10 reasons why I'll never sell my satoshis for a fiat currency I, I just won't do it i uh, hope you guys enjoy that i want to know what you guys think what are your reasons why you'll never sell your satoshis and if you do or will sell your satoshis let me know why okay but again like i said before we're in a once in a species opportunity here that will never come by again over these next few years it's just it's just amazing what this opportunity is and uh what we have in front of us and i really want you guys to grasp that and the only way you're going to grasp that is by studying 
you got to study and watching videos like this and things like that because again i'm like a restaurant host i do know the menu but not as good as the waiters and the waitresses and stuff so i want you to get introduced to the people in the in the description box below uh study tools you know the books the podcasts the youtube videos and stuff like that you guys got to study to put in the work you guys got to study to understand what you what you're sitting on man this is an absolute crazy opportunity it really is guys and again I've said this once, I'll say it a thousand times, guys. Please, please, please take your time to study Bitcoin. And once you do that, once you get to a certain level, whatever that level is, stack those Satoshis to that level, okay? And for your future generations, do your grandkids, your great grandkids, your kids, your nieces, nephews, whatever, a favor and stack Satoshis today so you don't have to work for those same Satoshis tomorrow. I love each and every one of you and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.